In this video, we're going to look at how to set up your digital press jobs, send them to your digital press, and then print your files so that the multi-loss sheets come out of your press glue side to glue side pre-collated. To do this, you will choose your layout application. It could be Quark, it could be InDesign, it could be Illustrator. A PDF will be generated out of this application. To produce a card with the front and back imaging, you will need to make a four page layout. The first page will have the graphics on the front of the card. The second page will be the glue side of the first sheet. The third page will be the glue side of the second sheet. And the fourth page will be the graphics on the back of the card. Once your card is laid out in this manner, you will simply output a PDF, send the PDF to your RIP engine for your digital press, and after it is ripped, it will be sent to your digital press for printing. Now that the job has been ripped, let's look at the press setup. As we discussed earlier in the pre-press section, this particular job is made with two different colored sheets. Your job might be white on both sides or feature the color tone sheet. That's up to your job that you're running in your shop. With this particular job, we created two substrates, each with a very unique name. The first substrate is inserted into the top drawer. The second substrate is inserted into a different drawer. It doesn't matter how many drawers your particular printing device has, just make sure that your two sheets of paper have unique names and they're in two separate drawers for printing. Let's look at the print side of the unit. All the steps that we covered in the pre-press side of the video has made this job possible. As you can see, by the way we built the PDF to be sent to the digital press, it is allowing the sheets to come out one at a time, red and then white alternating, and by using this method, the glue is facing each other on each sheet. By doing this, we have taken out the part of the bindery service of having to hand collate these sheets together. The red pages were put in the press, the white pages were put in the press, and they're coming out printed, collated, and glue side to glue side, ready to trim and seal. It is important to remember to set your trimmer on at least three tons of pressure. Three tons is the minimum requirement to seal the sheets. Finishing a multi-lock card job is very similar to a traditional job. As you can see, we're simply inserting the sheets, rotating around for each cut, and trimming each card down to find the trim. Every time the clamp pressure is activated in the cutting process, the glues are activated and the sheets are sealed together. A recommended method when trimming multi-loft substrates is to double trim the stock. By double trimming each cut, this will make a crisper, cleaner edge to all your cards and create a great product. Thank you for watching our video. If you have any questions at all, please contact one of our customer service representatives.